Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is actually going to be a review of the Ducky 1-3 Mini. That is right, a keyboard review. Um, every review I've seen of this keyboard has had the word best in the title, and I've just been using this thing for a few weeks now, and I don't know what it would be the best at. It does have some cool features, the stickers, those might be the best. My OBS decided to freeze, that was awesome, but getting into the keyboard review, this is Ducky's first keyboard to have hot swap. I unfortunately can't make use of that feature because I am poor and don't have any extra switches lying around. Um, so I've been stuck on these Cherry MX Silent Reds, which are honestly uh, mushy, scratchy. They don't sound good in my humble opinion. It's just like a very dampened sound. Um, so yeah, haven't been enjoying the switches, but I could switch those out and probably have a better experience. But my favorite part about this keyboard, this circular keycap. I'm a real casual gamer, mind you. Um, so sometimes I lose track of my W key. Like, is it here? Is it here? I don't know. All of the keycaps feel the freaking same. But... With the circular giant keycap, I know that this is my W key, so it has helped tremendously in game. I am just top fragging in every lobby, every game. This is like, you need this. You need the fucking circular keycap to even compete in games at this point in 2022. The other keycaps, they feel fine. They're no circular keycap. They're PBT. They feel really high quality. Honestly, if you think these keycaps aren't high quality enough, you're sick. Now getting to the actual like board itself, it's an all plastic case. Definitely doesn't have enough heft to like fend off a home intruder, which is not what you want in a keyboard. It's just plastic, kind of cheap feeling, not a fan. So as a custom keyboard enthusiast, I would like to see Ducky switch to a all brass case and just start putting weights in the back of the keyboard so that way it's really grounded to the desk. It's just a higher quality, more premium experience because $130 for an all plastic keyboard, dude, what am I, freaking nuts? Like, that's just a crazy price. Um, that for gaming, like realistically, all circle keycap jokes aside, I did have problems with this keyboard. Not only does it feel like the debounce time is just like pretty high, I also have this weird issue where if I'm like holding down W and I want to click A, sometimes A just won't register. It's like there's some weird issue with the rollover not working properly, which is just insane to have in 2022. But it also could be a skill issue because I'm not sure if I'm just not pressing the keys down hard enough or if the silent reds just fucking suck and are so different than what I'm used to in Omni points and good optical switches that I am just having a prolonged skill issue. But I've used this for a few weeks and I don't know. Um, the gaming aspect of this keyboard doesn't seem completely perfect. Um, but if you threw in some solid switches for gaming, I think you would be just fine. But this is not a top tier like gaming keyboard. I would 100% just recommend the Razer 60% with their mushy linear switches because at least those respond insanely fast. They even have like an 8K Hertz option um, because I don't know, the Ducky keyboard is just not hitting. And don't get me wrong, this is not a bad keyboard. If you just want a 65% that is going to be solid out of the box, then yeah, this is an option. Um, at $130, I wouldn't recommend it for gaming over a Fnatic streak, anything solid with optical switches. And if you want the end game keyboard, just fucking spend 50 more and get an Apex Pro. Um, but yeah, this keyboard was solid. I found it to be like just above average though. Nothing really blew me away, but I don't really make use of the great keyboard features besides the circular keycap. Um, some other shit I didn't cover. The colorway is objectively ugly. There are two kickback feed options. Just use it flat and a standard USB-C cable. I like that. Not giving into the coiled cable hype. You do you, ducky. I don't know how I forgot to mention the most important part of a keyboard, the stabilizers. You're going to get a up close and personal sound test. The stabilizers are definitely solid, better than like my Apex Pro, for example. I also like the 65% layout. You get the arrow keys, you get the delete key, really all you need in my opinion. Uh, but that's gonna be all for this review of the keyboard. I wasn't a huge fan Definitely not the best keyboard I have used, but it's the best keyboard that every other YouTuber has used, um, which says something. So that's going to be all for this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And there is another keyboard review coming soon. Uh, worse than this keyboard, though, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, that's all. Peace.